Here's our new electric water heater. We're gonna get it prepped. Put the expansion tank on. Get everything all set up so when we get on the job, it'll be a quick in, quick out. More to follow. Okay, we've got our wires connected. Uh -huh. You make these connections, spin these until it starts to twist the wire a little bit. You know you got a good connection. Pull on them. And make sure there's no loose wires. And our ground is right there. And our two hots going here. Okay, so there it is. All set up, configured, pre-wired, pre-plumbed. We get on the job. All we have to do is connect our two field connections there. There. This should speed up our insulation time. See, we've got our expansion tank on. We'll talk about that. This used to not be a big thing, but they started putting backflow preventers in all the water meters a few years ago. So now you have to have these. Used to, as the water here got hot, you would push the cold water back toward the city supply every little bit. Well, now the backflow, backflow preventer is in there, that can't happen anymore. So it builds pressure in the tank, which can cause your pressure release valve here to drip. It definitely shortens the length of the water heater in its lifetime. So what this does, the water comes in here, you see there's a seam right there. This is full of water. There's a diaphragm in here, and this is full of air. And that gives a place for it to expand so it's not putting extra pressure on the water heater. And then if you look under here, there should be a, I it off. There it is. a little Schrader valve in case you have to adjust the air pressure for any reason based on how much pressure you have coming into your building. But that is the reason we have an expansion tank. It prolongs the length of the water heater. It prevents excessive buildup of pressure inside the water heater. So there you guys go. We've got this all ready to go. This is going in a mobile home that you have to access from the outside. So we prefab everything here before we went. That way if we get rain tomorrow, we can just slap it in that real quick. But there you guys go if you like it. Subscribe, there's more videos on my channel. Um, various uh, water heater and heating uh, repairs. See you next time. Here we are at our water heater job. It's a little chilly out this morning. It's about 30 something and windy. So we prefabbed everything before we got here. So hopefully this won't take too long, but there's the old one. <laughs> Look at that quality wire in there. That'll definitely be fixed. This is a mobile home. Uh, 40 gallon, I believe. All right, well, we'll get started here and I'll get you some more video as we go. Okay, there it is. All installed. Nice, tidy junction box of that conglomeration they had before. Everything plumbed back in. I don't see any leaks. I'll go ahead and fire it up. Make sure it's good to go. Get this job all wrapped up. For more videos like these, check out my channel.